Hello everyone and welcome to episode 11. We're gonna pick it up where we left, which is a deserted place called Kobuke in the middle of the island Shikoku. I arrive at the station only a little bit early in order to hop into the next cute choo-choo train that will eventually take me down south to the fair city of Kochi, which is a nice place indeed, but best of all, it's warm. I take the rest of the morning off to stroll through the street market, which eventually leads up to the very nice Kochi castle. But what am I saying? I have yet to find a castle which doesn't cause my heart to jump. Speaking of my heart, I wanna go skate. So I find myself a lovely little bus to take me a little bit out of town so I can jump on my board again. There we go. My new mission is to arrive at a cape called Muroto Misaki, which is famed as the roughest and wildest spot in Japan. And better yet, on top of that 160 meter rock stands a lighthouse, plus a very famous temple that was founded in the 9th century by Japan's most famed Buddhist monk, called Kobo Daishi. Sure enough, it doesn't take long before we find the first gigantic statue of Mr. Daishi. But it does take its time until I climbed up 150 meters to get to the lighthouse. From then on I kinda get lost in the woods, only to find myself in front of the next statue. And in front of a gate. I wonder what's going on there. What is this in here? What the what the? Oh, okay. Um, where'd you go in the what? Is it safe to go in? Am I allowed? To? Wow! Another statue. And uh, uh, another statue. Some, some old temple buildings. They're more than 1200 years old, they say. Amazing. Another statue. I, I don't think I'm supposed to be here, and it's getting a bit spooky. So let's leave, back through the forest. There's gotta be a road some- Whoa, that's a nice road. So, I'm still on top of the cape, and I'm not eager to get down tonight. So let's better look for a place to crash. And what do you know, I find a sign that leads me into the next bushes, where I discover a completely deserted, but very well groomed campsite. Oh, lucky bastard. After a short walk the next morning, I find myself on a plateau. The view is nice and all, but the best thing is... Who goes up, must roll down. Oh yeah. Oh, it's only 8 in the morning. Oh, which is great, because it appears I'm back on the west side of the cape. Oh, but hey, I'm not gonna lose much time as long as the weather is this good. Yeah, I kinda forgot the reputation of the cape. It's supposed to be the harshest place around Japan, right? I 
find a lonesome shack with some vending machines and a one-armed bandit with Castle of Cagliostro? Oh, that's cool. Well, I don't know where I am, but it sure looks nice. But it's getting dark, so let's better find a place to crash. As friggin' usual.